What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, and today we have some awesome news debuting here on One Piece Treasure Cruise Global. As of this video, so tomorrow after this video goes live, the official uh, long voyage campaign is going to be beginning, there's lots and lots of stuff to go through, including so many free rainbow gems given out throughout this entire event period, which we will be going through in this video, giving you guys the details on how to get them. So here we have the news here, of course they've officially announced the Sugo Fest. We already know what's going on with the Sugo Fest, but one thing we didn't know is how many available legends were going to be on each individual part of the Sugo Fest. However, luckily enough, they've actually given us the information before the banner actually goes live. A lot of the times, a global will give us the banner, but then we have to wait until the actual part is live before we figure out what legends are available, how many legends are available, what their rate is going to be. But we already know that prior to, which is really, really good. So obviously, 10% chance for a legend, so keep that in mind. But we can scroll down here to part one, which it does mention the characters that are going to be available. So we have a lot of available legends here. Now this actually is 30 legends. So with 30 legends at a 10% chance to pull a red means that each individual character should be around about a 0 0.333 chance to pull. So long as there's no, you know, fancy rate boost going on for each individual unit. So that would mean that hypothetically, if you do a multi, um, or just if you do any pulls, there's a 1% chance that you'll pull either Moria, Blackbeard, or Magellan because 0.33 multiplied by 3 for each individual character, 1% chance for any given poster to be one of the three new characters. That's honestly pretty good. Um, you know, obviously Blackbeard isn't like super desirable comparing Moria and Magellan, but still, for 1% chance to get potentially one of the debuting legends is really good. So I definitely will be doing a handful of multis on part one. Definitely look forward to that and i might make a separate video as well talking about which individual part is the best one to be pulling for but again i'll have to wait and see about that one but we'll scroll down to part two um part two part three and part four all have 20 available legends on these banners which obviously means with 20 available legends 10 percent chance each individual character should be 0.5 percent chance to pull uh, including their six stars if those are going to be available as well. So again, like that's actually like pretty stock standard, nothing crazy. I would have preferred it if they restricted the pool a little bit more, maybe 15 available legends with a 10% chance. So each individual character was much higher chance to get. But still, you know, it's not terrible, I suppose. You know, still 0.5% chance for one of the units, especially comparing to the pre-Yoshi era of Sugo Fests. It's not going to be that bad. And again, you know, the available legend that we have here, obviously it's going to have some of the more recent release characters, which, which I know a lot of people are more excited for. Ace versus Akainu going to be featured on part four alongside Magellan, just in case if anyone was wondering that. So there you go. And we also have the rate boosted characters. And it looks like on all parts, it has the same boosted list for characters. Um, you've got Sengoku and Jozu from the versus Akainu batch. Uh, you got Kamazo, Jack, Capone. Uh, you got Krieg and Gin. Uh, you've got Speed, Hold'em, Smoker, Toshigi, Luchikaku, Hyozo. Pretty weird boosted list, I must admit. Uh, I would have preferred if it did have a lot more rare recruits from more recent release batches, but I guess it's fine. Um, of course, everyone wants to get their hands on the new characters, Avalo Pizarro, Katarina Devon. Um, for some reason, Stampede Buggy and Stampede Crocodile are both boosted here as well. Um, for those who don't know as well, the, uh, the brand new rare recruits only come in 5-star form. You cannot pull a 4-star form of the character, so they're much more difficult to pull. So we'll have have to wait and see what the rates of those characters are but i would hope that potentially for debut sugos moving forward because a lot of the batches moving forward do not have unevolved versions of rare recruits i do hope that these characters are much easier to pull because pulling a five star form of a rare recruit is actually very difficult to do um so you know i really hope that, that is the case and they have a little bit of a high chance to be pulled but let's go ahead and move a little bit further on. I'm going to scroll all the way down real quick just to kind of go from the top to bottom in terms of the campaign stuff that we have. The One Piece Day campaign, of course, we're not getting an official One Piece Day Sugo Fest, but we are still celebrating One Piece Day with some awesome login bonuses. Right here, if you've been logging in, you'll be able to see if you log in every day for five days total between now and the 30th of July, you get your hands on 29 rainbow gems, of course. one you get On day one, you get seven gems, and on day three, you also get 22 additional gems gems and then you get a legend ticket on day five with some other goodies in between of course so that's nice 29 free gems just by logging in and then if you scroll down real quick 
One Piece Day celebration gift, we get an additional 30 rainbow gems just by logging in on July 22nd, which I believe we should have received by now. I'm pretty sure this should be arriving on Global. I don't know when this is going to be coming out. Um, so hopefully we get that announcement soon of when that's actually coming, because it does say we're sending everyone 30 rainbow gems for One Piece Day. So that should be coming hopefully sometime soon. Um, above that though, we have the uh, Clash Marker, which was officially announced, which debuts tomorrow. So I've already got some teams planned for you guys, so make sure to stay tuned for that one. This marker is okay, not the best raid boss in the game, but still an okay unit to have for sure. And this one is another big one right here. Celebrating the Long Voyage Countdown. So this is the official campaign information that we have for Blackbeard, Moria, Magellan celebrations. So we have the Twitter and Facebook campaign, which is going to be debuting July 22nd at 10 a.m. PST. So this is going to be debuting nine hours before the Sugo Fest goes live. But uh, with this particular event, uh, there's going to be a Twitter and a Facebook page event where if you get 5,000 retweets and shares amongst both, you know, either the Twitter and the Facebook posts, we get an additional 30 rainbow gems. So make sure when this goes live, I'll be tweeting about it. I'll also be posting it to my um, community tab. So make sure to stay tuned. I'll, I'll let you guys know when you're able to do this. So we have this event period, which will go until when? August 25th. Oh no, the campaign will go until the 26th of July. Yeah, so we've only got like four days to ensure that we get the uh, 5,000 shares. So make sure to get those shares and retweets going because we get an additional 30 rainbow gems. So, so good. And then down and below that, we of course have the free multi pool, which we already knew about, so that's fine. You know, nothing too crazy there. You get a free multi pool, only one free multi pool um, between August 22nd and uh, July 22nd and August 10th, so that's fine. Uh, and then below that, we have this right here, the uh, lottery quest, which will be going from July 22nd until July 27th. So we've got five days of a lottery event. Remember, you can play it each day, once per day, and you do get a rainbow gem for each day that you clear it. So that's five free rainbow gems just by completing the lottery event. And remember that when they actually announce the rewards, everyone will get at least one gem for participating in the lottery quest. So that's six total rainbow gems. And then it's going to be repeating at the end of August. So we actually get 12 total free rainbow gems from the lottery quest. So just add that to the total of free rainbow gems that we're getting. That's fantastic. And then we also have um, this right here, the special request from Chopper Man, which of course will actually add. I'm pretty sure this has additional rainbow gems as well. I'm not 100% sure on that one. But of course, this is the one where Markino appears. So you do 90 clears of any piece of content up until August 25th, and you're able to get that mark, you know, support, which is very, very good. Make sure to get that done because we do not know when that character is going to be returning. It's very important and imperative you get that completed. And then we also have this super rewarding login bonus, which is up until August 9th. So log in 10 days total between July 22nd and August 9th, and you can get yourself an additional 30 rainbow gems. So for those of you who have been calculating all of the uh, all of the actual login bonus stuff that we've been talking about in this video so far, that's a grand total of 131 rainbow gems that you can do between now and the end of next month to get all those gems for free for not really doing much at all. You know, a lot of it is just by logging in and sharing posts on social media, completing the lottery quests. Very, very easy stuff to do. So make sure you're continuously logging in every single day, completing your lottery requests when they're available, and you'll be able to get up to 131 rainbow gems for free. Pretty awesome stuff. Make sure to get that done. And you know, I know a lot of people are not going to be summoning on this banner, but definitely save those rainbow gems that you were gathering for other big Sugo Fest moving forward. And then there is also a part two to this login celebration from August 10th until August 25th, which I believe with these four star rare recruits that it should include all of the new batch characters as well. So there is a potential that you could get some pretty nice stuff from that. Um, you can potentially pull legends from those as well. So that's pretty cool. But um, yeah, the, the long voyage celebration is looking pretty gosh darn good. And uh, just a side note, this is the brand new event right here, the free to play event with Vasco Shot and also Jesus Burgess. Uh, wait, actually, no, that's not Vasco Shot. That's actually Actually, uh, Vasco shit actually so there you go Vasco shit is going to be uh, making an appearance in treasure cruise for the first time uh, but jokes aside now this character is actually very useful for one of the upcoming arena um, coming up very soon on global so make sure get this event farmed I'll bring you guys a video talking about the event and some teams you guys could potentially use for the event but of course it's very similar to those other events we've had in the past with new batches where um, you get points and if you're on a point booster team you get more points you get more rewards you know all the good stuff you got gecko mori and blackbeard with uh, the highest points Magellan unfortunately Unfortunately, not being a high point booster, only being 1.3, Vasco shot Jesus Burgess, and then a whole bunch of other recently released characters are also boosted for the event as well. Uh, we've also got some gem sale stuff as well, so this is
is going to be uh, until here until August 10th. So this banner is going to be here for a pretty long while. Um, and then you've got the 105 gem pack, which will give you a guaranteed support medal and a guaranteed skill up book. So that's pretty cool for those of you who will be pulling on this Sugo Fest. Definitely one of the packs that you should be buying if you're going to be uh, pulling on this banner. And you got the limit break packs for each of the new legends. And then you got the generic pack, which you can purchase an unlimited amount of time throughout the event period, which only gives you five additional gems. Don't suggest it at all. Uh, if you're going to be buying gems, definitely buy the uh, these limited time packs because they give you the, uh, the best bang for your buck. Um, and I think with all of that being said, that's all of the brand new information that we currently have right now. So uh, I'm definitely looking forward to this one. And of course, I will be live streaming over on twitch.tv forward slash Toadski for the start of this Sugo Fest. So make sure to come over to the Twitch stream and enjoy in the festivities because this is going to be a pretty awesome banner. Hopefully get some good luck. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. And if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.